problem number 59, I want to find dy dx for the following function y. y is equal to e to the x squared plus 1 times sine of x cubed. Okay, so uh, when I look at this problem, this is, of course, the section on the chain rule. But when I look at this, I don't see a chain rule right off the bat. What I see is it's a function times a function. Okay, I have one thing multiplied by another thing. And without even thinking about the how complicated or complex these guys are individually, I know that if I have something times something else, then I have to use the product rule. Okay, so I know right off the bat I'm using the product rule. So I have a first function, e raised to the x squared plus 1, and I have a second function, sine of x cubed, and I need to use the product rule to take the derivative. So let's do it. So I get dy over dx. And the way that I use the product rule is I take the first guy and I leave him alone. So I just write down e to the x squared plus 1. Then I multiply that by the derivative of the second guy. Now the chain rule comes into play. If I want to take the derivative of this uh, function sine of x cubed, then I need to ask the question, what happens last? Well, in this case, I cube the x, then I sine it. So the sine happens last. So I need to take the derivative of sine of something. And the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing but I need to multiply that by the derivative of what was on the inside. In, that, in this case, the inside was x cubed. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So I'll write down times 3x squared. OK, so you've got the first times the derivative of the second. And that's where we're at so far. But the product rule says we need to now add the second guy left alone, so sine of x cubed times the derivative of the first guy. And the way that we take the derivative of e to a power is you just leave it alone to start with, write it e to that power again, and then multiply by the derivative of the power. Okay, The power in this case is x squared plus 1. What's the derivative of x squared plus 1? Well, 2x. So we multiply by the derivative of that power, which is 2x. So what do we have here? We had e to the x squared plus 1 times sine of x cubed. So we took the first guy times the derivative of the second plus the second guy times the derivative of the first. And we have our derivative.